Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back and welcome today to Brescia in Italy for the start of the 2018 Mille Miglia. I'm joining Mercedes-Benz, the Mercedes-Benz Museum and Mercedes-Benz Classic to drive an iconic 300 SL Gullwing on this legendary route, retracing the steps of Sir Sterling Moss in 1955 from Brescia to Rome and back 1,000 miles surrounded by 450 incredibly special cars. Well, the journey gets started today in Brescia. We've just gone through the final stages of preparation, the sealing of the cars, but let's head through and check out the Gullwig that we're going to be driving. about this event is just how it takes over everywhere it goes. It's a huge spectacle. Cars lining the streets, coming through crowds, vast numbers of people turn out to watch the Millimilia every single step of the way. You have all sorts of different cars that took part from 1927 to 1957. That's the criteria for entry. Mercedes-Benz have an awesome lineup as well. Let's head straight there though, because I really want to show you this Gullwing. SSKs and some of the older cars, but if you're a fan of the 300 SL, feast your eyes on this lineup. How special is this? Let's head down to the far end. Just walk past all of these from 1955 to 57. This is one of the most spectacular, stunning lineups I have seen. This is a special built 190 SL open roadster, but the others in this line are all the gull wings. There are more cars as well that we can't see quite here, but coming all the way through, my start number, number 357 at the end of the line, a traditional specification. What a journey this is going to be. This is probably the classic car of my dreams and now I get to drive it a thousand miles on the Millimilia. As well as the older cars, we also have this display with the Project One, the Mercedes AMG hypercar with the World Championship winning Formula One engine from the past to the future. And behind that, an AMG GTR. We'll also be joined by my GTR as our support car. We'll see that shortly, all prepped for the occasion as well. But this, along with the new A-Class, is really getting the mood started. The first cars are on their way through the crowds here, joined by the police escort, and we are joined also by Mark. Hello. Mark is designated co-driver navigator for this adventure. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep us on route, on time, and making sure that uh, I instruct him well. Going through this complete book, and this is only one day. I have three more of these, and I did preparation yeah, yesterday and today. And all the timings. We'll run yeah. through this and what the regularity stages are actually all about later on. But in a moment, when a few more cars have gone past. We will hop in and go line up. This then is the crowd of people from the car park to the start line. I feel like this is going to be a very funny journey we have here. Everybody lining the route. Good times. Up ahead of us is the stage, but we are in the first bit of regularity. You have to be here exactly on time. We can see the clock. We're in tune to that clock with our equipment that we have inside the car. But this is where it begins. Here we go. By the way, I'm wearing my gloves from the Outlier Man, which is going to stop me getting blisters on the steering wheel. But this is the start. Up we go. To the flag. To the beginning. And we're officially away on Millimilia. Okay, resetting the trips. Here we go then. So we've been looking at the route book just to learn the first couple off by heart. But this is the very start of Millie. Let's go. And there we have our safety car support car. The AMG GTR is going to be driving with us for now. It's going to be following us. There we go. Have a look back in the rear view. <laughs> Super cool. Driving in the GTR then. We have Benzene Ben at the wheel and we have Sebastian T photography on the camera in the passenger seat, but 
How cool is this? With these two cars separated by 60 years, both Mercedes, completely different eras. He's being noisy and antisocial like you couldn't imagine. <laughs> going wrong right now we obviously didn't get the first regular regularity test very well we're now at the second um, but now we're out of battery on the tablet that we're using uh, Mark is having a complete panic about absolutely everything I'm absolutely loving driving this thing I'm not gonna lie it's epic now the big trick here is to plan a bit in advance so this regularity is broken down into six parts they have an average speed and a distance each that you have to be very precise on and we know what we're doing, we've got a system, well we think we know what we're doing, we've got a system in our ears, fully in the zone, zen, concentration time. seconds 30 seconds to get there so we've gone a little bit too quick here 25 seconds side is it on? Uh, I guess it's going to be on my side again. We're going for the final sixth checkpoint tick of the day. This is where the 300 SL comes into its own because you can open up the gullwing to hand out the book to get it stamped. You're not supposed to do this around crowds of people because, oh, thank you very much, very kind. More stuff to put in the back. Yeah, you don't want to hit anybody with that, but it makes it much easier to lean out, hand it over, you get the point. So, up we go to the final CT of the day. Hello. Ciao. Thank you very That's much. Grazie, arrivederci. Here we go, the finish 
finishing stage of day one up to the top. Come to the start. Barese in water, 157. And then Tim Burton for Mark Anderson. What a day. Automobilistico. We go there. Facciamolo un applauso. Tim Burton. That's so cool. So, off to park up the cars, have a rest, and get ready to do it all again. Uh, from home, to my cleaning apparatus, and it works brilliantly to uh, hold the trunk open and fill up. You're a genius. I even have a light on my head. <laughs> One of the cool things about the start here is we're behind Katsunori Yamuchi, Mr. Gran Turismo. To our left is Adrian Suttil, former Formula One driver. We're surrounded by big names, big cars, and the whole excitement is quite literally off the charts. I barely slept and I'm still buzzing to get this day started. Mark's a little bit more tired than I am. But, <laughs> what's not to love? Whoa, okay, slippy in the morning, but we're underway to get this epically long journey started. Woo, we've got Katsunori in our sights, number 356. Bit of mechanical sympathy in the morning. So, trip is reset, air is flowing, marks on the route book. Yep. this route brings us are so narrow and the GTR behind. Just look back at how silly that looks coming down through here. Clearly, cars like that were not in their minds when they built these places. Well, in fact, cars didn't really exist at all when they built these places. Um, but we are making our way this way towards the first time control of the day, the actual stop point where we have to be in about 14 minutes and it's a kilometer away. Buongiorno. Emilia checkpoint or lunch stop looks like. Just scattered cars everywhere. Some beautiful locations as well. Extraordinary scenery that we've been driving through. The weather is very rapidly going from sunshine to rain, but I think that's pretty normal. Still feeling sorry for the guys with open cars. We, however, do need to get back in the car because there is a checkpoint to reach. What's happening now is that we've got to get to our next checkpoint at 1838. It's currently 1831. We've got about two or three kilometers to get there. But what we know from experience is that it's gonna be absolute carnage with all the different cars. So there is a bit of time pressure to actually make our checkpoint on time. You get penalties.
case if you're one minute too late, one minute too early, any of that. So, fingers crossed again, that seems to be the word right now, and I'm talking very fast because of the panic. Let's hope we make this. coming through here would have been quality. I'd have loved to have seen that. No power steering, round we go. all lining up to go across the, the finish line of today's stage. We are running dangerously close to overheating, so I'm actually going to kill our engine for the moment, because otherwise this could all go very wrong very quickly. Let's switch everything off, sit here and wait, and then push the car down the hill. The stage is set for the finale of day two. Up we go. This is fun. It gives me uh, 150. Do you think of Millenia? This it was so Good morning to you. It's day three. We're departing Rome. I've got the route book to show you through any moment. Team, how are you all doing? Not tired at all. Not tired at all. I think that probably summarizes this because today, day three, is even longer than the last one. So we have an awfully long stretch, about 15 hours, but a quick glimpse so you can see what exactly the route book looks like and how we're following this, the distance we've traveled, the distance between each direction, total distance remaining, and then the various instructions, the tulip graphics that show you where you're heading. Here we have the timing card. You can see the PCs, uh, the PMs, the CTs, all the different timings. We work out our own timings as we go through this just to make sure we get there. But the good news is, I don't know if you all know this actually, we are ranked number 109 Solid so far. Going. Which is not bad. We started, we got to 125 on day one, 109 yesterday out of 440 something actual entrants, which is not bad for first timers. So let's see how we can continue this in the next two days. It's the start. 
lot. We get our route book. Thank you. And away we go. The 0828 group. Cars in theory separated by 20 seconds. Three going per minute. The horn starts like an Italian morning. There's the GTR ready to join us. And off we go. Stop for a second, look backwards. Not too bad. <laughs> Tell me going right here. Oh my god. Amazing, and it like what is this? At least like thousand years ago, they decided to make a road wide enough for an AMG GTR. <laughs> Never got left. Oh, heavy steering. You know what I find amazing? Yeah. Is how many cameras come out from the GTR behind us. You see them, we see, see them coming running, ready to get the shot as Ben goes past. I've got to ask you, how was that? Tight. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little scary. <laughs> you managed it. Siena, this piazza, this square, is just breathtaking. This is incredible. <laughs> what a crowd as well. All the cars rolling through here. <laughs> the kids there. <laughs> My goodness. What a day this is. Woo! <laughs> no. No. We've got our stamp. And how are we going? What a crowd here! Oh, we got the Mercedes Millie team. Okay, this. Oh. oh. Walks out. What does that mean?
our car was being a little bit jumpy, but fortunately we're right alongside one of the Mercedes checkpoints. We stopped here, had some ice cream, and we're going to jump in now. Fingers crossed, it's good to go. After another little scare with not quite the right power from the car, we think we're back up and running, but I'm going to let Mark explain what happened. Uh, in Siena, really hot, a lot of hot air, uh, mixture not being quite well, so uh, the car was just not running fine. It wasn't a happy bunny, so uh, now with new cold air coming in um, and being on a move, this really helps, so the car is much better now, but woo! We find ourselves in this pickle again. We're in Luca, and we've got about 11 minutes to get to our time control, and before then, we've got a PC regularity of six stages, six very short ones. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, Let's see what happens. Go left. Go, 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 go. No, there's a massive jam. I can't get there. No, I can't go down there. <laughs>
good news, with the results that we have so far, we've improved our ranking and we're now at number 100, which is not all that bad for some first timers on this rally. We're actually the second highest 300 SL. The one that's ahead of us is doing his 11th millimilia. So a little bit of experience there. Our two cars are actually parked side by side just over behind me. The red one is the car that's ahead of us. But let's just take a moment to look around this. We're in the garage, the Mercedes garage here in Parma. So the last night stop of this event before we get back to Brescia. But just to talk you a little bit through this, part of the event, Mercedes, the Mercedes-Benz Classic Collection, Mercedes-Benz Museum owned cars and also some customer cars that take part with them, get serviced, get looked after and get a little bit of love and attention each evening to make sure that they're all in absolute perfect running order. So we get back, we have a debrief with our engineer just to talk about the status of the car and how the day's gone. You can see all the 300 SLs, but also the SSKs and the other cars that are entered as part of the whole team and set up. And then they all get set and ready for the morning when they're out, warmed up and ready to go again, which is absolutely brilliant. Anyway, number 100 for the moment. It could go either way, but let's attack tomorrow and see what we can do. It is day four. That means today we're going to be returning back towards Brescia, the last day. I've enjoyed doing this every morning, but this is time to get back on the roads again. the final leg, 10 hours back to Brescia. But this is going to include going around the Monza F1 circuit, also the Alfa Romeo test track, two very special places. The sun is out. Let's go. Get our route card. That's it. And off we go. Another day, another checkpoint. We're in Piacenza. This morning is blasting by. Thank you very much. All random things we get given out just about everywhere. We stop, support cars cruising through, and we will go and get our stamp. Okay then, let's get this stamped. That's, That's it. it. Correct. Places where basically cars are normally bad. But today the entire country of Italy gets behind this event and just turns up to come and watch it. I didn't actually realise, but we're driving through the centre of Milan. We've got a police escort bringing us across every traffic light. There is a huge line of milli cars. As we go past the trams, we cause an intense amount of chaos. But this is kind of fun, albeit quite bumpy. Wave us on through every junction and the cyclist is making the most of it as well. Thank you very much, officers. <laughs> this is Piazza Duomo, famous square in Milan, although not that you can see that much of it over to the right past the crowds of people. Alrighty, so time to get the next CT. Hello. Grazie. Grazie mille. Vederci. Ciao. Ciao. And off we go again, just like that. Massive crowd here coming out of the piazza. Look at this, this is like tens of thousands. The crowd is a few people deep. Endless lines of people. Goodness, this was cool. Although the car is again very much at the warm end. We are showing just over 100 degrees on the dial here. Um, 115 or so is where it's a problem. So we're a long way short of that. But on we go. We're arriving at the Alfa Romeo Museum and this just gives you an idea of quite how many people come to watch the Millimilia and how many different cars there are around. So you have, you know, the normal Milli cars, but they're just like random Porsches, Ferraris, tons of Alphas. Here we have the gate going into the track, so the museum here. Oh, yep. Stelvio Quadrifoglio Cabinieri there. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Late Apex, late Apex, late Apex.
charity stage. We're at the Monza F1 circuit. Um, you got the numbers? Yep. We do go through the tunnel though. This is a fairly famous tunnel entrance to Monza. I'm kind of sad that this is going to be the end, but let's nail it. Get this one completely correct. This is a long one at its normal speeds. It's a one minute, a 37 seconds, and 43 seconds, and nine seconds, a short one. Nine seconds? A 28 seconds, a 42 seconds, a one minute one, a, 28, a 26 seconds, a one eight, and a, so, oh, a 48 seconds. The nine second one is going to be fascinating, because that means I have to be rolling across the line quite fast yeah. going into it. Stay alive. We are literally driving around the Monza, the current Formula One track. Yeah, right, it'll be really special. Okay, there we go. One minute, 25. get out by the way he knows what's what if you get out you make sure you get the stamp nothing goes wrong so mark are you gonna get out no i'm not gonna get out you're too tired i'm too tired uh we can um hand oh. over the paper get the stamp Grazie. check it ciao, ciao. Grazie. Ciao. and off we go camera to you under the flags just keep on giving in the sunshine here. I love this, it's so cool. Fun vibes. You're completely destroyed, aren't you? I'm done, I'm done. Let's drive back to Rome. No. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing, line dancing. Last CT. They're lively in this part of the country. This is great. Ciao ragazzi, ciao. Ciao ragazzi. And we're off. That's it. The last bit of regularity, other than the final, oh, big bump, final sign-off at the very end. We're rolling in to the final holding area of this 1,000 mile adventure. In fact, it's not that precise. They take a, a specific route to bring in nice roads, specific places. So we've driven 1,849 kilometers by the book. But here we are back in Russia after an adventure of monumental proportions. Yeah. <laughs> in a nutshell. I'm, I'm completely lively and ready to go again. You're completely wiped out. I'm, wiped I'm sure out. when the adrenaline has gone from the driving, it will sink in a little bit more. Driving this car, it's weighty, it's heavy. It's been a complete workout, the steering, the gearbox. There are things that I've had to be conscious of, like the brake feel, the temperature, the car almost overheating. We had some fuel pump things to play with, but it's so connected and real. You have to watch for the swing axle when it pivots up forwards. But when will I ever get an opportunity again in my life to drive a thousand miles in a 300 SL? Not anytime soon. <laughs> Not anytime too soon. A huge thanks to Mercedes Benz, to the museum, to the classic team who've looked after us all. Just mega. Let's go hit the finish line. Oh, there's no dignified way to get out, especially not when it's been a 
journey this long. Random thing. Look at my shorts, even the steering wheel is making a mark on my shorts. My gloves are completely worn out. Good, so good. So, so, so good. Well, there we go. The adventure is over. A thousand miles, just over a thousand miles, driving in the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This has been the trip of a lifetime. The final rankings, well, not quite final, but at this stage, proposed final rankings are that we finished 97th, which is really quite exciting, better than we could ever have imagined. So, I think I should wrap it up there. What a trip. I hope you've enjoyed this video. A huge thanks to everybody that's been involved in making it possible for me to be able to join this and take part. I am never going to forget my first full Millimelia driving in a car like this. The 300 SL, the Gullwing, the iconic car that I think almost inspired me to go on to buy the AMG GTR now that I'm enjoying driving so much. So farewell for now, car. I should shut it up. For the last time, we are complete as the sun sets here in Brescia. So thanks again, guys. I'll be sure to see you again very soon. Cheers.